Hey y'all, I'm Abraham Hunter, and I want to share with you my painting, Humility. One day, I was on my phone just looking through, I think I was looking through Pinterest actually, and um, I came across this really grainy photo, it almost looked like it was taken from a zoo, and it was black and white, and it was really grainy, and the lion was looking up in, in the sky, and I love painting lions because of the, like, the power that they represent. Well, I just had this like light bulb go off in my, in my mind about this lion looking up, and I did a bunch of sketches and I figured out the anatomy because I couldn't really use the photo because it was too grainy. And so I, I sketched it out on the canvas and, and um, then I commenced to trying to capture a story behind it. What the lion represented for me is it, it reminded me of the Lion of Judah, Jesus. And the way it was looking up, it was in submission. And everyone knows that the lion is the king of the safari. I mean, they're, you know, nothing killed a lion. They, you know, they're, they're powerful and they're beautiful and they symbolize Jesus, in my opinion, and um, it reminded me of how Jesus at the Garden of Gethsemane, knowing what he was about to endure for us, he still was humble and did everything that the Father in Heaven told him to do, regardless of what it would do to him. And even though he was so powerful that he could command everything to be done and, and over with, he didn't have to go through it. He chose to in humility for us. And so the, the joy in this painting was to capture that emotion through the eyes of a very loving, caring, yet powerful symbol of, of Christ, but yet in complete submission. And you can almost see a bit of a, of a sadness in his eyes, but yet still you can see love and care in his eyes. And I spent a lot of extra time on this one. You can see each of the little, um, actually each of the, the rod, light rods in the, in the iris, you know, I really studied Lion's eyes really well and, and tried to capture as much feeling and realism as I possibly could in it. And the finished product, it, the background is reminiscent of the Garden of Gethsemane, the olive trees, and um, I made it during night so the light rays would shine through. And um, it's one of my favorite paintings just because of the, the symbolism in it and the emotion. And I'm really proud of it and I want to thank you all so much for listening to my thoughts on it and God bless you.